Hey, uh, hi everyone. Uh, hope uh, everyone is doing good. Uh, welcome to ITV. Uh, okay, so what is Adobe Experience Manager RDS? Yeah, if you see here, it's called a tenant. Tenant is brand. My company is Surge Software Solutions. It's a it's a brand. Take a lot of time, right? And that is actually bitted off, uh, you know, fixing the issue. Apart from our, like independent silos, you are working. Not content authoring is pretty pretty quick. I mean, uh, the entire marketing team can actually manage this within two to three people. AEM dot live developer. The basic core API is same, but just that organized way of uh, handling the entire software for the brand uh, um, delivery i mean uh, digital experience delivery previously it's just like a brute way of doing of uh, where you can have uh, uh, just a jar do it and then have jenkins run it and then have uh, repositories uh, um, branching strategy. it's all like independent silos you are working not at a one single location uh, controlling everything now that is going to change where you can have one single location called cloud manager where it is changing uh, uh, into one single location of monitoring the whole digital infrastructure that is being handled by the adobe experience uh, uh, platform or a experience manager right so here you can have different uh, solutions which you are uh, using from adobe selected different environments selected different repositories selected different tools selected and then continuously providing access to a particular group and then you know everything at one single place everyone can access and it's on it's like keeping everyone on on same level at the same page and everything clear to everyone so it's just like um better managing uh, software for uh, enterprise uh, uh, digital experience delivery so that's what i felt about uh, uh, aim as cloud service and another thing which i have discussed in the previous uh, initial few minutes is about uh, edge delivery services what is edge delivery services so adobe came up with this uh, helix concept long back but uh, that converted into edge delivery services so basically adobe edge delivery services is a way where you can actually um, create a sample template uh, from um, existing template archetype which they are providing okay and with that you can uh, have your repository linked with a chrome extension and then uh, you don't need to have a jar or you don't need to have any deployment uh, the the user helix user might work as a service user which will uh, provide uh, uh, the cloud live access uh, for your repository and whatever you change in your repository will directly accessible in a url so if you see here um there is edge delivery services and document based editing and um, whatever you edit you can either publish to am publish or you can publish to edge delivery services right so am publish is the for the live right edge delivery services are actually the location where uh, you can have it delivered for multiple other locations also and what do you mean by document based editing Previously, you have uh, editors like what you see is what you get kind of editors where you can uh, type and then add a script and everything. Now you don't need to do it. So basically, I'll show a, a single um, uh, video how it is actually so cool, right? So it's like this. So if you go to uh, just a second. Yeah, so you can actually create uh, a GitHub uh, account for yourself. And uh, with that GitHub account, uh, you can actually use a template, uh, which is uh, supported by this edge services. And that will create a Adobe repository for you. And then once that repository is available, uh, there is a Google Cloud uh, Drive link which can be authored at uh, Edge Services uh, uh, code base. So you can actually, I think, this video. Which one is this? Yeah, this video. Right? So there is a Sidekick Chrome extension. Once you add this Sidekick extension, you can actually uh, have a Google Drive link. And inside the Google Drive link, you can have Word documents. And this Word documents can be added to the Adobe uh, Chrome extension, which will define, uh, you can select any of these and then you can do preview and publish without actually having local host jar or anything. It's just a, 
um, you're just changing word document that is actually reflecting in the AEM website how it will be. So you, you can see it, right? He are actually, it's a Google Drive document, Docs Google, and then he's trying to update uh, some text or something. And then um, he can actually uh, do a preview, right, of uh, whatever he has updated. It will be available in a live URL. Uh, apart from uh, this live URL fetches the code from the GitHub and also fetches from this doc which you have put it in the Google Drive. Both of them combined it will display a live URL link wherever whatever you have authored displayed here directly. It's a beautiful uh, uh, thing for small projects. Uh, I would not say big enterprise very heavy content projects but small projects content authoring is pretty pretty quick. I mean um, the entire marketing team can actually manage this within two to three people, uh, the whole content. Uh, and this is, uh, uh, there is a there is a tutorial which anybody can do hands on and uh, it's it's pretty straightforward. All the steps are clearly mentioned, uh, which is available at aem.live developer tutorial, right? So that's what I wanted to cover in this video. And then uh, you guys can actually suggest anything else which you want to do me to cover in uh, Adobe Stack. I'm very much uh, glad to and interested to do it. And thanks a lot for those uh, support base who are actually uh, continuously encouraging us to add more and more content, which is the just motivation for this uh, whole uh, um, sessions, right? Thank you, everyone. Thanks. Thanks uh, one more time. Um, thank you for your time.